Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. So what I'm going to do is ask the question, who is afraid of being rejected by you? Who's afraid of being rejected by you? So I'm going to lay out these cards first. I'm going to clarify a few times. Who is afraid of being rejected by you? It might take a little to draw the energy out. Who's afraid of being rejected by you? Yeah, somebody here who's not moving. <laughs> Somebody's not moving. Who's afraid of being rejected? Flexibility. Yeah, so this is an energy of somebody here who... <laughs> Possibly somebody who wasn't cooperating or compromising or they weren't flexible. This is someone who's not moving. It's because they don't want to. And they, they're afraid of being rejected because with the flexibility also comes that compromising and cooperating. Yeah. So it's an energy of someone here who's actually lacking uh, that courage. Yeah. Who is it though? Yeah, so yeah, so I do see communication. So this is an energy of freedom, communicating. So someone is afraid to communicate. They're definitely deep in their emotions. And this person needs to release this because it's not serving them. So if this is somebody who wants to communicate with you, they need to put on their big boy or girl panties. They need to be more flexible. They need to go down this path. They need to communicate. But they also need to communicate emotions. This is somebody who's got a little baggage they need to release. Uh, so it has to do with that. This is a person who's, I feel this is something that someone here may struggle with. Okay. Yeah, the fear of being rejected. So let's see, who are they? Let's look at standstill. It's going to be different people. Yeah, uh, this is someone who's not moving. <laughs> King of Wands doesn't like being rejected. Well, fancy that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is somebody here who's thinking they should move on to avoid a disaster. Yeah, so it has to do with fairs. So this person's kind of like, I feel they're kind of back and forth. It's about they know they need to come in right. They know... Yeah, but this is, and it could be someone here who I feel is trying to avoid you. They may be trying to avoid you, okay? Or they feel like you're trying to avoid them, so they're kind of not sure if they should or they shouldn't. I, I think this is someone who really, you know, little ego and pride there. Yeah, this person's still very curious about you, though. Like, they're really, there's something that they're learning, they're figuring out here. This is the person who's always curious, always wanting to learn. So they need to learn more. They need to take more time to get to know you. Yeah, this is somebody who probably didn't too. There may have been some sort of judgment or something here. Yeah, so it has to do with connecting. See, it's about seeing eye to eye. You know, I think this is, this is really, it's kind of cute in a way. But yeah, you see there's other people possibly involved. They're not so sure here but they need to release they need to this is someone who probably come towards you in the fall when the trees are falling from the leaves but they need to release okay they need to release i feel they got some people here who may be telling you they're not right for you to avoid them it's possible they maybe got wind of that but yeah they want to talk they want to get to know you more they're still very curious okay yeah my goodness let's see Tell me about these other people. This has to do with being rejected. It's an opportunity, an invitation of some kind. But like I say, there's going to be some kind of gathering. Uh, and they I feel they want to they want to learn more about you. <laughs> but they're scared of being rejected. Yeah, the lovers. They want to connect here. So someone who needs to let go of other people too. But to come together with you, like I say, they may have some people that are holding them back or you know, telling them to avoid you, whether you're not right for them, and vice versa. So they're going to let go of some people because this person wants love. They want to bond. They want to get to know you. They want to form a bond. Yeah, they want to court you too. They want to, you know, talk. They want to connect on an emotional level. But I feel there's people around that they need to let go of. They're telling them to avoid you. They're not right for you. Or they've done this to you and they're aware of it. Yeah. Friend of a friend, possibly, but they want to date you. They actually want to date you. What's this one here? Yeah, imprisonment. They're kind of stuck in their head. They're feeling very stuck, imprisoned in their thoughts. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I, I, and if it is somebody who has been in prison, <laughs> they could be at a distance. They may feel like they come towards you. You know, you'll tell them they're just not right or they weren't fair. But I feel there's other people, other, other people trying to keep you apart here. So this is why I feel this person's afraid. 
they may have learned something through someone that someone said to avoid them. So that would definitely justify that. Yeah, they actually want to get to know you more. They want this passion in the beginning. I feel they find you attractive, but yeah, and I do feel too, they're not sure if you do. This is another thing. So this person's a little worried about that, whether you'll find them attractive. Um, so there's some insecurities I feel as well. So that's why they're afraid of being rejected. They, they, I'm going to tell you, they find you attractive. They, they know they need to come in right. But like I say, it's an energy of people telling this person, like to avoid this person. They're not right for you. You see, friends, family. Tell me about the lovers. Yeah, so I see some of you are waiting. You're waiting for this person to come in. Yeah, I feel it's very confusing. There's mystery, things that are hidden. Yeah, these there's people keeping secrets from you about this too. They're keeping this all to themselves here, the secrets. So there's a little bit of a mystery to solve here as well. Tell me about this King of Wands. Why are they afraid of rejection? Yeah, they're definitely deep in their emotions. This is somebody who wants love, like... They have, they they've got some deep feelings. Like I feel like it's people telling them to avoid you. Um, like I say, or I mean, it could be vice versa with this. But yeah, I mean, this is someone who wants love. You can see they want love. They've got some very deep feelings. You know, they're in their head. They're te technically, I feel this is someone here who's generally very fair. But some, you know, this. I, I let me be honest. I feel this is someone very being analytical and getting in their head. See, they're in their head, trapped in their head, trapped in their own thoughts. Yeah, it's a cycle that needs to end. See, it's a windfall of abundance, a timing. Um, feel this person wants to talk to you. They want to get you alone. And that could be people telling you not to be alone with this person. They're focused on that physical. But honestly, I feel this is someone who's got some very deep feelings. They're very emotional. This is someone who's gone very deep. They want to date you. They want to date you. Yeah, they they know what they want. They're gonna. I feel they're gonna go for it at some point. Like this is a person who often is win or lose, but it's sharing their feelings. Yeah, they're starting to feel more confident here. They may reach out to somebody else too. They may reach out and talk to some people about their feelings here, where there's a mystery or they're feeling confused that maybe you're avoiding them. You know, that's something there. Maybe you've been avoiding them. Uh, or people are telling you to. I don't know. Yeah, or someone did. Oh, yeah, they're they're definitely afraid of rejection. So, But they are someone who's feeling more confident. They're going to just be brave, win or lose. Okay. The only way they're going to know if this goes in their favor or not is if they just come in and tell you. But you can see there's deep feelings, emotions. Yeah, I you know, like it's an energy of that. I, I think this, I mean, maybe this person's a afraid you're involved with someone else or people are telling you they're involved with someone else there's people here i see friends two people see it could be a friend of a friend maybe that's how you know each other what is it they need to release they're going to let go of some people here yeah they're looking at things from a different perspective so someone has been checking you out too maybe that's why they've heard that other people are checking you out or they've seen people checking you out uh, for some of you Wow, this is turning into quite the mystery. Let's have a look at that. Tell me about the hanged man. See, it's a looking at things from a different perspective. They're changing their perspective. It's an energy of someone who maybe sees you differently or people are telling you you're different or I don't know, like crazy. Yeah, they want this to be successful. Yeah, they need to let go of their pride and their ego if they want this to be successful. That's why I feel win or lose, this person's going to come in. They're just going to push through that that little bit of fear here, the fear of rejection. And you can see there's no rejection card actually here, except where you change your perspective or you don't, you know, you start, you start looking elsewhere. So that's also a rejection. But I feel it's people involved. Yeah, see, it's people are involved, how they conduct themselves here. Uh, maybe someone told this person you weren't faithful or they weren't, but it has to do with the two of you just getting on the same page. I feel it's lifestyle stuff, you know, this person's lifestyle, the way they conduct themselves, maybe with their family, um, their friends, things like that. So yeah, they're going to offer you this cup. I'm telling you, they're going to come in and offer this win or lose. They're, they're, breaking, they're breaking out of this self-imposed prison. So a lot of this is stuff in their head. <laughs> 
Yep. <laughs> but, they, you know, there's feelings. They want love, you know. They want to connect. They want to bond. And you can see, like I say, there's people involved. Who are these people? Let's just see if it shows something about them. People at a distance or somebody, a friend of a friend at a distance is telling them, yeah, to keep the distance, to move on. Nothing to see here. But it's a friend a friend of a friend at a distance or someone that is. Now, nope, they're coming in. They want to get to know you more. They're very, very curious. I feel they were asking people about you and they were saying, or you were asking people about them and they're telling you. I don't know. It's how they, there's something to do with their family, you know, the way they conduct themselves, their lifestyle, things like that. And it, like I say, it could go either way. But yeah, they have all the tools. See, they're manifesting this. They're going to communicate. This is someone here. Yeah, look at that. We have the King and Queen of Wands. Isn't that fascinating? Because there was a King and Queen of Wands in the reading I did yesterday about two people who are very passionate about each other. Like I say, there's a lot of passion. There's... I don't think anyone can stop these two people, um, whoever you all are. But yeah, it's that energy of being fair. There's balance here actually between you. But like I say, there's somebody, a friend of a friend at a distance. I mean, this could be that person. Someone may be manipulating someone here too. Or someone's telling someone that someone is. But it's really just you're still manifesting each other. I, I can say there's a friend at a distance or someone who's a friend. Just a friend. I mean, it doesn't look like far away, just at a distance somewhere. So it has to do with maybe someone who was traveling, visiting, told this person to, you know, to avoid that someone was, that you were avoiding them because of what other people said or vice versa. Craziness. I'm going to go a little bit further. Let's have a look at the moon and see how this plays out. This is just two people who are attracted to each other. There's some kind of chemistry. You're both attracted. There's this passion. There's this spark. Other people are seeing and noticing this. They're seeing the way you're looking at each other. So, like I say, there's too many people involved. Yeah, let's have a look. Attuned to the divine, new moon in Pisces. So this is an energy of someone in tune to the timing, the right timing. So maybe it just wasn't the right time or the right place. But this person cannot stop thinking. I feel a lot of this is in their head, but it, it certainly doesn't have to be. They're trying to be really logical here. And these could be some other people too. <laughs> uh -huh. Focus on the positive. Yeah, this person's focused on the positive, see? Now, new moon in Sagittarius, so there's a Sagittarius, a Pisces energy, someone with Pisces. You might have a, to be honest, some of you have a couple people who are afraid to be rejected by you. <laughs> yeah, see the bigger picture. It's someone seeing the bigger picture. Yeah, so this is the person who often sees the bigger picture, somebody who's thinking about this or looking at this. But they're coming in. I'm going to tell you, they're confident. They're coming in, win or lose. They're going for it. Yeah, speak the world into being. Some Gemini energy. So there's some Sagittarius, some Gemini. Two cards of Sagittarius here. But that's just an energy of bold confidence. Um, it's also an energy of uh, someone who's generally very positive and outgoing. So I say maybe you're. we've got a couple people with Sag in their chart or just that energy. So crazy. I'm going to pull out one more. I'm actually going to pull out this card. Whoops. Let's have a look. What is it you need to know? One more card. Yeah, see a healing light. So reaching out to heal. There's something that you need to know about this person or they need to know about you. So it's an energy of someone reaching out to clear this up. It's really about clearing this up, seeing the bigger picture. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I don't know if somebody was going through a healing or the time isn't right or whatever it is. But it's a person who's definitely feeling they're going to be rejected. Yeah, so somebody being their higher self. Um, so this is an energy of raising your vibration. This person's really attracted to you. They feel a strong attraction. They feel this pull. And they, they I'm going to tell you, they can't deny it. But there is, I feel, this energy where it's a self-imposed trap in their head. They're trapped in their head. Yeah, but it's all about in tune to the divine. 
You see, being in tune. This is an energy of somebody trying to be in tune. It's about two of you connecting and having a conversation. So I wish you the best here. Um, I'm going to pull out one more. It's telling me to keep going. There's something more we need to know here. It's telling you to be still. Okay, now this is... it. I mean, it could be this person just being still. They're not moving. They're being still. So maybe you're both just not moving. Or you got somebody back and forth between the two of you telling you both not to move to be still but i do feel like i say this is often i see this with like the queen of swords somebody who knows their worth and value and isn't moving so this person has to make a move they know they have to make a move i mean this could be another person telling this person they very well could be someone telling this person that other people are involved, too many people involved, everyone's talking, telling, telling, you know, maybe they're telling you, they've told you to avoid them. I'm not seeing a player. I don't see anything wrong with this person, to be honest. I feel they're at a distance or they're just, like I say, it's an urge of someone is avoiding someone. And when someone avoids someone, they feel that they're going to be rejected if they reach out. So this poor person's in their head. What can we do for this person? <laughs> Yeah, someone's got to put them out of their misery because I'm telling you. Yeah, so they're just chilling out. They need to just relax. So, see, they're just being still. They're just trying to chill out and relax here. Yeah, so they are going to move forward. They are going to come in and get this going. So, I think this person's just getting out of their head. That's when I see that card. See, the self-imposed trap in their head. They're going to clear their energy and clear their head and they're going to come in. They feel a pull. I don't think they can stop themselves if they even wanted to. <laughs> to be honest, they feel, they're starting to feel more confident. Someone's going to tell them something that's going to make them feel more confident. Yeah, they have to tame that beast within themselves. The beast is getting into their head, overanalyzing more than anything. So I wish you the very best here with this person who feels that you're going to reject to them. Take care. We'll see you soon.